Hello, and welcome to this comprehensive tutorial on building a recommendation system using Java. Today, we'll not only explain the concepts behind recommendation engines, but also delve into implementation details, coding, and testing. So, grab a cup of coffee, and let's get started. First, let's discuss what a recommendation system is. In simple terms, it's an algorithm used to suggest products, movies, or any other items to users based on various factors, such as user preferences and historical data. There are primarily two types of recommendation systems, content-based filtering and collaborative filtering. We'll focus on collaborative filtering due to its effectiveness in various applications. This approach recommends items based on the preferences of similar users. Before we dive into the code, let's set up our environment. We'll need Java, Maven, and an IDE such as IntelliJ IDEA or Eclipse. Make sure you've installed these tools before proceeding. Now, let's create a new Maven project. In your IDE, you can do this by selecting New Project, choosing Maven, and clicking Next. Let's name our project Recommendation System. Next, we need to add dependencies. Open the pom.xml file and add the required dependencies for our project. For this tutorial, we will use the following libraries, jfreechart for data visualization and Apache Commons Math for mathematical operations. With dependencies in place, let's define our main class. Create a new Java class named Recommendation System in the src main java directory. This will be the entry point of our application. At this point, we need to simulate user item interactions. For this tutorial, let's create a simple data set of user ratings. For simplicity, we'll use an array to represent user ratings on different items. Here's a breakdown of the ratings array. In this matrix, rows represent users and columns represent items. A zero indicates that a particular user has not rated that item. This data set will be the cornerstone of our recommendation system. Now, let's compute similarity between users. A common way to measure similarity is using cosine similarity. This method calculates the cosine of the angle between two non-zero vectors, providing a score between zero and one. A score closer to one indicates that the users are similar. Let's create a method to compute similarities for all users. This method will take our user ratings and return a similarity matrix. Each element at position i, j, in the matrix will denote the similarity score between user i and user j. Now, let's test our similarity matrix computation by printing it out. Inside the main method, after initializing the user ratings, compute and print the similarity matrix. You should see a 5x5 five five matrix printed to the console. Each value reflects how similar each user is to one another. The diagonal values should be 1, indicating that each user is perfectly similar to themselves. Next, let's develop the recommendation algorithm itself. The idea is to recommend items to a user based on the ratings provided by other similar users. We will take the weighted average of ratings from similar users for items that the target user has not rated. In this method, we iterate through each user and item, accumulating weighted scores based on user similarity. Finally, we'll return a list of item indices that can be recommended to the user. This approach ensures that users receive personalized recommendations. Let's integrate the recommendation logic into our main method. We will select a user and get personalized item recommendations for that user. Now when you run the program, it should print out a list of recommended items for the specified user. Make sure to test different users by changing the user ID variable. We've implemented a basic recommendation system that calculates user similarities and suggests items based on those similarities. This is the heart of collaborative filtering. Now, to evaluate the performance of our recommendation system, we can use metrics like precision and recall. These metrics will help us understand how well our recommendations match user preferences. Here, the precision method checks how many of the recommended items are actually rated positively by the user. It computes the ratio of relevant recommendations to all recommendations made. Let's add recall as well. Recall measures the ability of the recommendation system to find all the relevant items. The formula will count the number of relevant recommendations over the total number of relevant items available for the user. Now that we have our precision and recall methods, we can evaluate the recommendations after generating them. 
Let's add a quick test in our main method to compute and print these metrics. With this addition, you will get a clearer insight into how effectively your recommendation system is performing regarding precision and recall. In practical applications, recommendation systems often incorporate many other factors, like user context and feedback loops. Features such as item popularity and contextual information can further refine recommendations. Moreover, in the real world, you typically employ large datasets and use machine learning frameworks such as TensorFlow or PyTorch for more robust recommendation algorithms. Tools like Apache Spark can also streamline processing large-scale data. Today, we've covered the foundational principles and implementation of a recommendation system in Java. We structured our data, calculated user similarities, generated recommendations, and evaluated performance using purity metrics. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Don't hesitate to experiment further by using larger datasets, adding more sophisticated algorithms, or even integrating this system into a web application. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more programming tutorials. Feel free to leave comments below with any questions or topic suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching and happy coding!